All right, update on Pioneer. So this was a deck we ran a few, um, I think it's weeks ago now at this point. The Mizzet Bring to Light, this was a deck purely pulled off a of League 5-0. Um, I've made a few tweaks for me. So, but we won down to 27 lands. We're still running. We basically took out one of our Triumphs. We are still running a um, huge ramp package with three growth spirals and four silver characters. Now, the main change we've made, we've added a main board, board wipe. We've gone a bit less aggro, we've added some voice of resurgences. More aggro, sorry, a little less aggro. But yes, this is what our curve is looking like now. Um, we have a good split on colour. So going down the list, we have Valky, which is a Rakdos card. We have some characters for Ramp, Azorius Charm for Answers. Slash life gain slash card cycling, vanishing verse for good removal, mortifies a good catch or creature, Prismari command does everything. It's amazing. Expressive iteration. I think this will be a second Prismari command next time I play the deck. Double dread war, good all round answer. Abrupt decay, good all round answer. Clofus, good value over time. Gotta love Cloffy. We have one board wipe as a different Clarion. Probably gonna go up in these. Nahiri, we'll see how Nahiri does. We're still running our Yishan, our Piki. And then free Voice of Resurgence. Simic is overloaded with free Growth Spiral, four Ring Delights, standard Niv package. Now you notice that we've stripped all of our multicolored cards. That's because we've now become a Giganfa sideboard. So we are running Giganfa for value. We now have four Mystical Disputes for Control, three Gold Blanks for. Um, Basically, control slash anything else. I'm trying to figure out what this is useful. Three painful pushes for early aggro creatures. We put the additional dreadborn here in case we need it. Notion fee for a control matchup. Graveyard exile of Rakdos Charm. Uh, more Knight of Autumn answer slash good bounce around. But yes, this is where our deck stands now. So let's go to Yield Pioneer and see if we can get some games in tournament practice. I want to see, I believe, hey, we might have Pioneer coming back. Let's resize this. We'll, uh, we'll drop the good luck at fun. Drop this, put our Night of Autumn here, I believe. We're going to try it in this position. We will declare that we have a Giganfa. Um, turn two voice of resurgence. I think we can keep this. No ramp, but we do have expressive iteration, so our turn cycle is probably going to look something like this, depending on them. But our first play is definitely a trial to see where we drop things. All right, trial. Pass. Good to see more people in Pioneer. Um, it is a format that I do believe still has legs. All right, our opponent played a Temple Garden tapped. Interesting. So this will come into play untapped because we have this, and we will just deploy our Voice of Resurgence. See if we can draw any more information out of them. I don't think we're actually going to express it a race. Ooh, it's green white tokens. Alright. Let's play this. I believe we dread war to keep this under control, right? Or do we. Wow. Did he give us any reasons? Okay, we'll try. Again. You know what? We're counting that as a win. <laughs> Purely because this is the thing. I don't want to jump into a league yet because I don't feel... Ooh. Interesting. So, we have a Carrioted, so we effectively... But we do fold pretty hard to a fort since here. We'll keep it. We're going to try this and see how things go.
Sorry, just munching a crisp. All right. Ooh, green blue. So this could be the. Uh, let's see what we draw. Not a land. So we'll play a tapped land. Next turn we mana confluence into the caryatid. This could be the. Yes, this is the Lotus Land combo deck. This is where this should probably be Assassin's Trophy. Did I bring in hate for this deck? I did not bring in hate for this deck. Oh my lord. <laughs> you get to see me struggle with deck building online now. Yes, I was supposed to bring in Unmoored Ego. I put it in the modern deck. Oh. Ketria Triumphs. They must have. Right, let's just run out the Karyatid. Let's see what they do. Hoping it's a triome, it is. Hmm. We have three mana, four mana. Yeah, we play this tapped because if they play anything too crazy. So I'm assuming they're going to float mana, play Lotus Field, tap that. That gives them six mana. I oh, know, just another Sylvan Scrying. I was trying to think if they're a five color deck, but there's no way they would run a Vespian stage in a five color deck. I do need to learn how to deal with this because I found out, well, it was common knowledge that this was one of the Pioneer Challenger decks. Part of it was. You haven't. What is this deck doing? Okay. Strategic. Do they just not have the load? No, they would. <laughs> they want to pay out, right? Is that it? What are they doing? All right. Well, in this in this regard, we are just going to straight Valky because. Maybe we can pluck one of their answers. Wish. Alright, so let's just do this. Let's go this. Let's black, green, white, red, and blue. Alright, we want... Valky, God of Lies, transformed into Tybalt, the Cosmic Imposter. Alright, Tybalt. Vizier of Tumbling Tans, and oh, Nahiri could be good. No, she only gets enchantments. Or tapped artifacts. Hmm. Valkyrie Iteration, Next Instance of Sorcery. Alright, so is there a Storm deck now in Pioneer? I knew Lotus Field was kind of a Storm. Was he just trying to kill Tybalt? Oh, is he gonna dig? dig? No, he can't dig because he doesn't have. Is Dick still... Oh my god. My pioneer knowledge is all over the place. Oh, he's going to pour over the pages twice. Oh no, just... No, I couldn't... I'm showing... I need to really look at my uh, pioneer knowledge. Because it is failing me hard here. Mastermind's acquisition. Yep. Alright, so they haven't played their land for turn, I believe. 
Hatte. Alright, so let's. We use this Tybalt. We hit a botanical sanctum from them. Oh, wait, and a clariot from us. Hmm. That's botanical sanctum. Hmm. I think we leave it right now. What should I have played Nahiri to just He's put a lot of stuff in the graveyard here? Here's the lotus field. Okay. Now you can make Fespian Sage a copy of a lotus field. through time so whatever he's getting here he's gonna get okay mm. so it should highlight the card that we're seeing played all right end step Growth spiral. Let's see what we draw. We draw catacomb. Alright, so we're gonna play the catacomb. That way then we can cycle this because we want to just keep drawing lands here. Not keep drawing lands, we want to keep drawing stuff. Hmm. We can play a card we own from outside the Okay, let's do this. Let's ultimate Tybalt. So we could Galvanic Iteration, Double Mastermind's Acquisition. That seems pretty dope. We don't need blue because we can do this. Draw three, and tap up to two lands, and discard a card. That's pretty cool. But actually, what I want to do is this. One, two, three. So we're gonna double next time. Yes. Let's get. Thief and this one will get Mystical Dispute. And then we will pass and discard a card. Discarding expressive iteration. Okay. can't do both of these so we have to think carefully mm -hmm. ok 
Galvanic iteration, yes. Two copies of this spell. Hidden strings. Tap and then untap. Okay. Uh, there's two copies of it coming down. This is fine. So he's going to generate basically 12 mana. from that. He's just going to do a massive torment of Hellfire. Okay. Well, get recovery. Generation is a really good card. Okay. Another hidden strings card. Oh, so he's going to draw for the. Uh, Okay. Um, target player draws equal to number of cards in the heart and loses half their life rounded up. So you're killing yourself? and half that makes sense that makes sense I'll try for it here. I'm assuming he must have the counter. Uh, I really messed up there. I should have countered the. Uh, I should have really countered the second. Actually, I should have put it, I, I misplayed so hard, but that's why we're playing this to learn.
Yeah, you don't draw a card though, I draw the card. Oh. played this game so hard. Let me put this here actually. I like it slightly out of the way. Yeah, he drew over ring moss, I'll do it. I don't think we have a sideboard for this really. Hmm. We are bad matched up for this combo deck. I mean, here he doesn't do anything. There's no artifacts to destroy. The best way would be to go aggro with a little bit of more control. Sacrificing this doesn't do anything. Is this where we bring in the go blanks, maybe? Mortify doesn't do anything. Clophis, maybe. Clarion, this is not a deck. No, it doesn't. Nahiri. Abruptic K doesn't really have anything to hit either. We literally sat with one in our hands for ages. I guess. <clears throat> yes, honestly, my biggest mistake there was I I thought that the um, Peer into the Abyss triggered off your um, when you cast it. And I thought he was killing himself effectively. So we're going to... Ketra into Sunrise, into Growth Spiral, into this, gives us plenty of options. <laughs> Honestly, short of just like packing this with combo hate, I think, yes, our Lord Ego is going to have to go in the deck, in fact, after this match, well, I don't know if we get one more in. I catch a <sighs> Alright, we're going to start with this actual. We're just gonna ramp. I don't think they can do anything on two. I'm still learning their deck as you can see, but said we would do which is draw lands do we hard counter sylvan skying no but we are definitely uh, putting more lands into play than we have to I think we go for the old uh, bring to light here. 
red, white, blue, black, green, What's our best bet here? Did we bring in anything that could help us? <laughs> Honestly, there's not really anything. The best thing you could probably do still is probably... No, I suspect he's brought in a counter for Valky, so we should go for a fast clock this time. And just play a Niv. Reload. Uh, we'll take the second ring to light to put more pressure on. Oh, that's not a good hit. We'll pass the turn. Yeah, I think I'm going to take out the go blanks and put in unmoored egos. Or, uh, well, probably unmoored ego because it's the quickest. Our opponent is trying to figure out if we are dead. <laughs> Alright, our opponent concedes. Again, I'm assuming they just want us to get a second. Reveal Giganfa. Double Mystic Dispute, but no way to cast it. Go blank and a thing. Great if this was a blue trial. Great, but I don't think we have a choice here. We're gonna have to put put a dread ball on the bottom. I don't think it does anything. Alright, we're gonna have to play Drown Cutter go and pass past the turn. Shock that in, pass the turn. So one thing that could save us here is if he's going for the um, uh, discontinu discontinuity play. We could Mystic Dispute it. We've caught players with this before. No, he's not. Strategic planning, it's fine. I genuinely think we just let him style too much last time. We really probably should have been more aggressive with um, the notion thief. Like, God, if we just if we put that notion thief down, he would have gone down to four life, and we would have drawn like sixty, like a ton of cards. Okay. Down four cards. Should play this because it doesn't have a 
drawing the check lines and no way to actually utilize them. All right, so let's see if uh, let's see if let's see if Go Blank has a role in this deck. What did he discard out of interest? Pour over the pages and another another Ketra trial. Okay. So he's got three cards in hand. Galvanic iteration. So whatever spell he casts. You know what? We're not gonna let him double spell. A mystic dispute the iteration. I'm sure he can cast what he wants to. Which is probably to grab. Oh, just a third strategical planning. So he must have everything he needs but the. F the f We are flooding hard. Let's keep this down. We'll bring the Ganfer to hand. Okay, it was bound to happen with 27 lands. So in scrying, find the lotus field. Play lotus field, sack two cards. Oh, if he has discontin, no, he did not have it. He has two cards in hand. We could just top deck. Does Niv change anything? Is there any Niv card we could draw here that would completely change our luck? Or do we just have to go for a, You know what? I think we have to just go for a, the greedy again for play here. Alright, so we didn't have counter. So now we just got to see if he can go off here. I mean, if he has the means to just untap, tap, draw cards, it could just be over. Triple blue, first pin stage, copies land, he has two mana floating, so he can... Okay, Sylvan scrying. First pin stage. Ketria Triome. Alright, so what I need to happen, <laughs> and it's a big ask, unless I draw it off the top, which I did not. What we need to do, we need to tap Gigantha, we need to cast Niv off the top, we need to hit a Bring to Light, we need to grab a Go Reload! Didn't hit bring to light. Fuck. Oh, damn it. I can't believe we didn't hit it.
Voice of Resurgence. Pass the turn. Oh. Like we needed to hit there. Bring to light to get go blank and then we could have stripped his hand. Oh. It was literally so perfect if we could have done it. Or oh, is he going for it here? Alright, cycle. Okay. He's uh, facing out here. Right, he still appears to be. Yeah, so. With two pieces in hand, we could have easily just gone. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We're kind of at a point now where genuinely, I think, um, that, uh, <sighs> that timing him out might actually be an option. I'm also very proud of myself for the first time ever I remembered to cast my uh, mystical dispute. Not my mystical dispute, my companion, Giganfer. Not in the hand. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So I got four distortion to strip my hand. So I'm assuming that these two cards he must have now must be to win the game. So if I could top deck anything great here. That's perfect actually. Alright, so let's do this. We top decked another Niv. We're gonna keep the Niv. Reload! We get to reveal. There we go, okay. Got it. Right, bring to light time. Check this. Bring to light for uh, white, red, green, black, and blue. 
Bring to life for five. We grab go blank. And we make him discard those last two cards and exile his graveyard. Then he's got nothing. And we have all of the mana, all of the first. Uh, do we just run out of Clothis here? Uh, you know what? No, I don't think we do. I think that we just go attack of all creatures. He would need an incredible lucky chain of sequences here to go off. Don't have interaction, so let's let's just play this and pass the turn. If he can chain together in two minutes, a perfect win. We've played Clophis. He drew one card. It's not unfeasible for this deck to just. Nope. Okay, we got it. Despite my horrendous misplays, we were able to pull that one out. Alright, so let's try for one more quick game. <laughs> Cloth is sitting there, yeah. So that was the play I said that would have worked pretty well. In fact, you know what, since we've identified a major problem with this deck, we're not going to run that because that game went pretty long. So first thing we're going to do is, ironically, Go Blank actually did something pretty decent there. So what we're going to take out is Dreadbore and Alright, so we're going to search for Unmoored Unmoored Ego So we'll put two coffees in the sideboard the other thing we take out is probably the Blood Baron. It's a five mana lifelink that I don't think has a place in this deck. Go Blanks did a lot of work there. I'm going to keep him in for now. I think they've half proven their worth. Half, half is the keyword there. Um, we didn't run into any aggro. Right, first thing, yeah, Prismari Command. We need to make that a second Prismari Command. I didn't put in, okay. Second Prismari Command over the Expressive Iteration. And I would probably say a third Vanishing Verse. We do need an answer though to that deck. <sighs> hmm. I mean, honestly, Notion Thief was pretty decent, I think. But yes, so that's our deal into Pioneer. I'm sorry it was only one real game and part of a game. But honestly, things felt good there. Um, obviously, I'm dreading us running into control because I think they'll hose us in game one. But I'm liking the direction the deck is going. We'll run it back in a few more days. I'll look into more about how to beat that combo deck.